Okay, hello everybody. Uh, uh, the purpose of this lab is to demonstrate how to use this software, which is named Cisco Packet Tracer. So what I'll be doing is I'll create a small network that has basically two routers and uh, two switches and two computers and interconnect this network and demonstrate how we can configure the computers and the routers to be able to uh, ping from one computer to other. So let's start here in the left side as you see at the bottom corner we do have devices that we can add to our diagram. We start with the routers first and <clears throat> we're always going to go with the 2620 so I'm going to drag and drop the two routers here, one to my left, one to my right and then we go to the switches and we also pick the first one on the left, the 2950 so we pick one 2950 router and another sorry, switch and another 2550 switch and then we go, if you look here at the bottom corner, there's something called end devices you click on it, there is this desktop and this is another desktop now the next step would be that we go and do the connections and uh, to do the connection we start with the cat 5 straight through cables which is a black solid line so we connect this PC to the switch and the second PC to the second switch and then we do another connection <clears throat> from the switch to the router fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and we do another one to the second router fast ethernet 0 slash 0 now we want to interconnect the two routers and it won't be easy to do that unless we have the serial connections I am pointing the pointer as you see it's only showing fast ethernet uh, interface there's no any other link and that is not going to do it and, and the way to do it is that we need to make the router capable of having serial interfaces the way we do that is by, by double clicking on the router and as you see here we need to turn off the router first and scroll down and pick this WIC 2T card and then activate it and then we close the window we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the second router don't forget to turn it off WIC 2T and then turn it on uh, now we, if we point the cursor at the router, we see now we have the fast Ethernet and the two serials, serial 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1. And the only thing left would be to add the connection, the serial connection, which is the one that has the clock, as you see here. So I'm going to grab this from 0 slash 0 to 0 slash 0. This way we're done with the connect connection uh, process of the two routers.